Zero Trust is a new way of thinking about cybersecurity. It's a paradigm shift from the traditional methods of securing networks and data. It's built on the idea that we should never automatically trust anyone or anything trying to connect to our networks. This means that every user, device, and application must be verified before access is granted. This is true even if they've connected before. Each time someone or something tries to access the network, they must go through the verification process again. Instead, we should always verify who they are and what they are allowed to do. This continuous verification helps to ensure that only authorized users and devices can access sensitive information. Think of it like this. Zero trust is like having a really good bouncer at a club. The bouncer doesn't just let anyone in, they check everyone's ID. The bouncer checks everyone's ID, even if they're a regular. This ensures that only those who are supposed to be there can get in. They make sure that only people who are supposed to be there get in. This level of scrutiny helps to prevent unauthorized access and potential security breaches. In the past, cybersecurity was more like having a moat around a castle. The moat was designed to keep intruders out, but once someone got past it, they had free reign inside. Once someone got past the moat, they were free to roam around inside. Zero trust is different. It doesn't rely on a single barrier for protection. It assumes that there are already bad actors inside the network. This means that even if someone manages to get in, they won't be able to move around freely. It puts up checkpoints everywhere to make sure that no one can move around without permission. These checkpoints are like security guards stationed at various points within the network. Zero trust is important because it helps to protect our data and systems from attacks. By continuously verifying every access request, it minimizes the risk of unauthorized access. It's a more proactive approach to cybersecurity that is becoming increasingly necessary in today's world. As cyber threats continue to evolve, adopting a zero trust model can provide a stronger defense against potential breaches. A software defined perimeter or SDP is like a secret passageway that only authorized users can find. Imagine walking through a bustling city, but only you know the hidden alleyways that lead to your destination. That's what an SDP does for your network. It's a way of hiding your network resources from anyone who isn't supposed to see them. This means that even if someone is scanning the network, they won't find anything unless they have the right credentials. Think of it like this. Instead of having a public entrance to your network, you have a hidden door that only opens with the right password. This hidden door is virtually invisible to anyone who doesn't have the key. SDPs work by creating a secure tunnel between the user and the network resources they are trying to access. This tunnel is encrypted, ensuring that data remains safe from prying eyes. This tunnel is invisible to anyone who is not authorized to use it. So, even if someone tries to intercept the data, they won't be able to see or access it. This makes SDPs a powerful tool in the fight against cyber threats. A Cloud Access Security Broker or CASB is like a security guard for your cloud applications. It sits between your users and your cloud apps and makes sure that only authorized users can access the data they are supposed to see. KSBs can also help to prevent data leaks by scanning for sensitive data that is being stored in the cloud. For example, a KSB could be configured to block users from uploading credit card numbers to a cloud storage service. Section 4. Endpoint Detection and Response or EDR. Endpoint Detection and Response is a security tool that helps to protect your devices from malware and other threats. EDR solutions work by monitoring your devices for suspicious activity. If they detect anything, they can take action to block the threat and prevent it from spreading. Think of EDR like a security system for your computer. It can detect when someone is trying to break in and take steps to stop them. Section 5. Identity and Access Management, or IAM. Identity and Access Management is all about making sure that the right people have access to the right resources. This includes things like creating user accounts, assigning permissions, and tracking user activity. IAM is a critical part of Zero Trust because it helps to ensure that only authorized users can access your data and systems. Section 6.0 Trust in Action. Let's imagine a user named Sarah is trying to access a sensitive file stored on her company's network. Sarah is a project manager who often needs to access confidential documents to coordinate with her team and clients. In a zero-trust environment, here's how the different technologies we've discussed would work together to protect the file. 
This multi-layered approach ensures that every step Sarah takes is scrutinized and verified. First, IAM would verify Sarah's identity and make sure that she has permission to access the file. This involves checking her credentials such as her username, password, and possibly even a biometric factor like a fingerprint or facial recognition. Next, SDP would create a secure tunnel between Sarah's device and the network resource she is trying to access. This secure tunnel ensures that any data transmitted between her device and the network is encrypted and protected from eavesdropping. Then, CASB would make sure that Sarah is not violating any company policies, such as trying to access the file from an unapproved device. It checks for compliance with security policies and ensures that the device she is using meets the company's security standards. Finally, EDR would monitor Sarah's device for any suspicious activity, such as malware trying to steal the file. EDR continuously scans for threats and can respond in real time to any detected anomalies, ensuring that Sarah's device remains secure. By working together these technologies can help to implement the never trust, always verify principle of zero trust security. This principle is crucial in today's digital landscape where threats are constantly evolving and becoming more sophisticated. They help to ensure that only authorized users can access sensitive data and systems, even if they are working remotely or using personal devices. This flexibility is essential for modern work environments, where employees need to access resources from various locations and devices without compromising security.